Today I'm going to introduce you to Timber Sound and do a quick unboxing and brief installation process. This is the Timber Sound white oak eight foot planks. So each box weighs about 52 pounds, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead. I already know that you can be gentle and just don't go down too far. So it's packed pretty nice. It's got a foam thing on the ends, so the material is nowhere near the edges of the box. So it's a cool little thing. And then your hardware is packed at one end. It is stapled in um, right down here, so the box doesn't come out super easy. You just kind of pull that one staple out there. Uh, so this is the hardware. Um, and then there's a little foam sort of cushion between each plank as well. So they're not scratching each other. All done pretty nice. And once you take them out, they look like this. You can see the perforations when you get up close. But you don't have to go back too far. To, they kind of disappear. And you're going to want to wipe these down with just a slightly damp rag or paper towel and wipe off any dust from the manufacturing and shipping process. So let's open this box of hardware just to show you what it comes with. Here, these are the little rubber spacers you put in between just so that the, the boards sit evenly spaced. So these are your end, end clamps. These are your starter clamps. And then you get a whole bunch of bayonet clamps, which are each individually wrapped. Um, so you'll end up with a, a pile of little plastic bags when you're done. Uh, and this again is our your bayonet um, kind of pusher. A little code for installation. Um, I was pretty early in ordering these, so actually they said the, the, the this barcode didn't lead to anything yet, so they emailed me the um, instructions. It tells you how to store. You do, you do want to acclimate these um, in the room that you're going to be doing them in, or at least in the nearby that room. All right, so got a little demonstration here of how all this works. Um, so essentially when you use these bayonet clips, all you're really doing is penetrating this uh, veneer on the side. Uh, so to load up your bayonet holder, you actually wanna put it in with the, the two clips on either side go in the slot and that leaves this part on the back because this is going to go up against your mounting surface. So imagine this is the plank that's already mounted on the wall. Uh, you're actually going to, this piece isn't big enough, but you're actually going to use this and push that into the board. Okay, and you put this away. So now this is up there, and then for the purposes of this, I use these drywall screws. Okay, so now you've got, this plank is mounted. You put another screw in there. And then when you get your next plank up, you're gonna set it up on these ledges. And then you're gonna basically push that one on the other spike. Now you can use a, a rubber mallet, uh, just be gentle, because the material, you don't wanna dent the material, but it is it does help to sort of get everything, especially if you're working on the ceiling, you can reach across and kind of push them all in. Uh, so that's a good example of basically how you use the bayonet clips. 
for the end clips and the starter clips like this, these ones you would mount and then again you would have to penetrate the side of the material. So that is one thing that we found out is you will end up with these little clips showing at the end. So you will want to do some sort of trim um, to kind of hide that at the end. And then these are what they call the, the end clip, and which is why they ask you to leave an inch at the end if you're mounting across a whole ceiling. Problem with the way we're mounting it is we don't, we're not actually going up to the corner of the ceiling. So you could instead use these, just put one screw through the middle, put a little bit of glue on the back, and then once you get the board on, um, just pound it into place and then it'll set. Or you could take this, bend it so that this clip is facing down. And that way, when you get to the end of your furring strip, you can bang this in place and then put a screw in the side. Uh, this would require, though, that your fairing, furring strips are very accurate and fit right up to the end of the, the plank. So this is probably a better solution. Um, and that is it. And if you're worried about, you know, oh, it's only being held in by that thin veneer, is it going to delaminate? Well, here's a piece that's completely unsealed around all edges and I cannot pull it apart. It's pretty densely packed and it's pretty fused together. So the whole thing as a whole, I mean, this little cookie is pretty, pretty tough. Um, but that is essentially the timber sound setup. So far, we, we've even noticed a difference just with this, just the way the sound sort of, it sort of continues over here, or over here, it, it sort of stops. So once we get the rest of it on there, this is gonna be three boxes of eight foot planks. So this is eight foot by 12 foot. And uh, so far, so good. Thank you.